That's what happens if you climb onto scaffolding at night, where you're not supposed to be in the first place. The poor man. <sighs> what terrible tragedy. The police are probably already on their way, and I have to close down my building site for today. A lost day. Just because of these idiots. I need to inform the workers. In the Chile. I don't believe it was an accident. We will find the culprits and bring them to justice. But, my dear Professor, don't draw any hasty conclusions. The confused fellow has always been climbing all over the place where he could have broken his neck. We should leave this to the police. Where are they, anyway? Inspector Fisher should be here any minute. Goodness, I'm going to leave. This is too much for my nerves. These are strange possessions for a poor, confused monk. Maybe the Historical Museum in Munich can help us with an analysis. Of the cordless screwdriver? I'm talking about the swan statue, Professor. Just what is wrong with you? Fresh corpses aren't for the faint-hearted people like me. I thought you were a criminologist. The recently deceased are rather unusual in historical criminology. Is that so? Anyway, we really should photograph the statue first. Journalist or criminologist regardless, please leave the unsecured scene of the accident immediately. We're not yet convinced if we're dealing with an accident. Brother Emmanuel wanted to meet us and hand over more proof of a conspiracy. All of this sounds very exciting, but to me this looks like a tragic accident. All over the country, Brother Emmanuel was known for his careless curiosity. This had to happen someday. Aren't you drawing hasty conclusions? Do you know anything? Just give me the smallest hint of a crime and I'll start investigating. Until then, let me do my work. Follow me, Sarah. Let's go into my lab. I have an idea. I have to admit, Professor Adler is of great help. With his assistance, I've managed to discover several interesting artifacts from Ludwig's time. A very interesting ancient broken fragment, and a mysterious part of a map. Unfortunately, both are incomplete, but maybe we'll even find the missing pieces. Twenty-ninth of May, 1881. The phonograph has finally arrived. Even though the records don't exactly resemble the spoken word, it's still fascinating that it's possible to capture sound on a wax cylinder. We are going to leave behind further records of our thoughts for the ensuing ages. If we get my receiver amplifier up and running again, we can hack into the castle's webcam and download last night's photos. I'm afraid the trailer's generator is shut down for good. I'll take a closer look at it. Could be a joke.
Well, let's take a look. There. The monk. There's another person. Can you see? But it's not possible to see who it is. Emmanuel's being pushed off the scaffolding. It is murder. Well, well, if this isn't evidence, Inspector Fisher will be so surprised. I've downloaded the photos on my USB stick. We should present them right away. Have you seen the photos on my tablet? Do you still believe it was an accident? Um, no, 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 not yet. I'm, I, I did ask uh, my colleagues in Fussum, but they're, they're, so, they're so overworked at the moment. Oh, for God's sake. What, dogs, did I do? What am I going to do? Uh. Maybe we could help you in the meantime. We have free access to the castle. Um, oh, I, I don't know. You are civilians. On the other end, if you can move around freely, it would be helpful. But, you need to report back to me. Here, take the UV light. It'll be useful for gathering evidence. You can rely on us 100%, Inspector. I know, I know. Take photos of everything that's suspicious. I'll go to the pub, I'll go, I mean, my office, and uh, inform my colleagues. Oh, oh upset stomach. All this stress, you know. <laughs> oh, I need some herb schnapps. But of course, Inspector. Take it easy. Being overzealous can be harmful. Dear Ms. Hamilton, the swan statue, whose picture you forwarded to us, belongs to a casket which is positioned in the study in Neuschwanstein as far as we know. It was a present that the king received from Richard Wagner himself. Kind regards, Elizabeth Minna, Archive, Historical Museum, Munich. of May, 1883. We are fascinated by our parrot. When we showed Marie our conservatory, it addressed her with good evening. <laughs> Maybe we should rename it. We are thinking about naming it Otto from now on. Bye. 
12th of January, 1885. This parrot is a genius. Otto remembers an astonishingly large amount of whatever we have to say to him. Maybe it can keep more of our secrets, or even repeat them when we say a code word. Then let's wake up Inspector Fisher from his nap, and send him these fingerprints. We should take further prints for comparison. Especially those from Beatrix and Franchetti. Beatrix? You want to needlessly bother her? Her nerves are frayed already. Is that necessary? Everyone is a suspect. Everyone. But now, we should open the casket. It can't be unimportant if Emmanuel had to die because of it.
Incredible. A real letter from Ludwig II? Hmm. <laughs> the content is rather unimportant. At least at first sight. I think we should examine the letter for secret writing in your lab. Good idea. The scanner will be of great help to us. Highly remarkable. I can indeed identify some secret writing, but it must consist of a very special milk composition. Doesn't the UV lamp give any further information? Unfortunately, it doesn't. We need a source of heat in order to make the writing apparent. A candle or a cigarette lighter. Well, there are plenty of candles in the castle, and a lighter should be easy to find as well. Why the rush? Eh, que cavolo! Once again, only cold coffee. This thermos flask is rubbish. I will head into town now and enjoy an espresso. Arrivederci!
Enough already. So what is the problem now? Do you want to send me to an early grave with your capers? The alarm went off and we wanted to see if everything was okay. No reason to panic. Everything is under control, my dear. Everything under control? First I need to inform Inspector Fisher that this was a false alarm. Otherwise, he's going to send out the whole cavalry. What an unpleasant day this is. <sighs> I don't wish to hear of any further catastrophes. Understood? Mr. Dolman, we are very unhappy with the progress of the construction. The Singer's Hall should have been finished long ago. I really hope there won't be any further delays. Inform us of the new completion date. Why, did you remove the craftsmen from our secret project? We don't want the interior fittings to be installed before this is finished. See to it immediately. Regards, Ludwig II, King of Bavaria.
9th of June, 1886. They have really dared to do it. Our monarchy has been overthrown. We have to hide all our secrets safely. We have used the phonograph to leave behind important hints and clues for our followers. We hope no one discovers our double life. I haven't seen anything like this in a long time. A phonograph wax cylinder? Basically, it's the forerunner of the gramophone record. And how do you use such a cylinder? With the phonograph, of course. I will instruct my institute to quickly send me one via courier. Tomorrow we will be able to listen to everything that's on this cylinder. Until then, we have to remain patient. Hello, Sarah. Our expert is 99% sure the painting is a fake. 
Even the photo shows that the paint possesses a slight reflecting component. That kind of paint has only been available since circa 1970. It seems like you're onto a hot lead. Good luck, James Billings. Dear Miss Hamilton, the photo of the broken fragment you forwarded to us has caused great excitement in our archive. It belongs to a vase that stood in the throne room in Neuschwanstein Castle for years, and is thought to have been missing since the Second World War. Please send us the original piece as soon as possible. Kind regards, Elizabeth Minner, Archive, Historical Museum, Munich. In the Holy Grail legend, several traditions come together. It's a mixture of Celtic, Christian, and Oriental sagas and myths. All written records describe the Holy Grail as a miraculous vessel in the shape of a bowl, a goblet, or a stone. It is said to offer felicity, eternal youth, and endless food. According to the Christian interpretation, it's a bowl with which Christ's blood was collected during his crucifixion. Aha! The analysis of the broken fragment has arrived. It's becoming more and more mysterious. The fragment belongs to a vase, which was considered missing. Then we'd better search for the other parts of the vase. And it gets even better. The vase used to have a firm place in the throne room in Ludwig's time. I'm already asking myself when we would finally get there.
These seem to be all parts of the base. Now we only need to put them together. I'm afraid that is easier said than done. Let me take a look. It can't be that hard. Hold on. Can you hear that? What kind of noise is it? Careful! Sarah! My dear, I admire your talent to constantly get yourself into trouble. But is it necessary to always involve my dear friend, the Professor, in these calamities? How are you, Wolfgang? Under the circumstances, I feel well. We got away with no more than a bad fright. Yes, but only thanks to the figure with the strange hat. I presume it was one of the notorious Google men. A Google man? Here, in the castle? Oh my god! What have you got me into? You were transforming my wonderful Nerschwanstein into a proper haunted castle. Mr. Professor, this has to stop immediately. I humbly beg your pardon, my dear. My driver will immediately take you both into the village where you will stay in the hospital for the night. I won't accept any protest. The police have been informed. Inspector Fisher wants to see you two here tomorrow. Oh, and this room is closed from now on. And I will allow myself a double gin. Otherwise, these unpleasant incidents are unbearable. Good night. <laughs>